Carry on. A sense of beauty that we feel the beauty of beautiful things exists not only in human beings, but also in a wide variety of animals commonly. But why do we have a sense of beauty in our mind and why do we pursue beautiful things? It is said that this is all for descendants' prosperity. For example, sorting by appearance, we subconsciously try to raise the possibility of our own genetic inheritance. It is very important for genetic inheritance that we are attracted by beautiful things, beautiful men, beautiful women, and we initiatively polish our beauty to enrich our life. We have a wide variety of beauty around us in this world, which is like physical appearance, color, sound, voice, or behaviors, attitudes, views, architecture, and artistic creation. And we also have the beauty of function. So in the final analysis, it comes to the fact that these factors of beauty naturally induce us to raise the possibility of our genetic inheritance. The very famous psychologist in the world, Freud, said that aesthetic desire is the thing that sublimates the libido, which is a sexual desire in the broad sense. So speaking of beauty, you firstly come up with a beautiful appearance that attracts people. But the fact of whether you have a good appearance or not is not one of the elements that consists of yourself. Because people's sense of beauty is more or less influenced by the period of time and the cultural aspect so that a sense of beauty exists in a uh, relationship between those who evaluate it and those who are evaluated. So this is a really difficult problem. So the studies of these factors are currently being investigated as academic category. But especially re research findings by psychologists in the United States that there is correlation between the, uh, between the beauty of appearance and income and in intellectuality and exercise capacity and social status are very familiar to us. So very good appearance evaluated by people around you doesn't actually indicate that you are an ex excellent people, excellent person. But we have a tendency to assume that a person with a good appearance must have a good ability, good skill, and a person with not good appearance has just normal ability or less ability. In addition, uh, health and beauty are closely related with each other. Heavy disease and heart handicap and malformation that significantly harms viability and implied wording, implied behaviors, implied attitude makes us feel they are harmful for beauty. So the bigger the degree of these factors get, the more cases we have like that we tend to think that these are really ugly. So being healthy it is prerequisite to fulfill the condition of viability that's necessary for descendants' prosperity. So it is not exaggerated to say being beautiful is prerequisite for descendants' prosperity as well. So choosing a spouse with beautiful appearance contribute to the enhancement of the pos enhancement of the possibility of genetic inheritance. So we usually recognize average face as a beautiful face because average face are is most balanced and we are at low risk for choosing defective one out of the good looking men and women from the viewpoint of genetic inheritance. So even if uh, ethnic background is different depending on the people like Mongolian descent, Euro European descent and African descent, the reason why we have a commonality in the sense of beauty to some extent is that any ethnic group have the same symmetry to a, same, to a sense of beauty. So 
the characteristics that we are attracted by beautiful men and women is originates from our instinct. So it is a really natural thing that we assume that men and women with beautiful appearance must have a, must be smart and well educated and have a good ability.